behind the line. We'll start in three, two, one, go. Clickety clack goes Gemini with they intake a second cube. They're able to get it back to the low row. Meanwhile, for the Blue Alliance, we've got Team 316 Lunatex. They're engaged on the Blue Charge platform. 321, the Goose Robo Lancers able to engage for red. Real-time score shows the slight advantage right now to Blue. This match may come down to who's able to score more points in the grid. Teams get five points. It's for every game piece scored on the top row of the grid. Three points for every piece on the middle row and two points scored for every game piece on the bottom row. Alliances can only score one piece per node. For the Blue Alliance, Lunatex and fighting Robo Vikings going out to sea and making their way back to the community. 316 with the landing for that cone, just off the top node, lands into the bottom. Meanwhile, 2607 fighting Robo Vikings helping complete their second link for the Blue Alliance. For the Red Alliance, Gemini helping cycle those cubes back and forth. That's gonna allow the Robo Lancers to place a cone on the outer grid. That's another five points for the Red Alliance. Not to be outdone, 16, 21. That's tech news. Meanwhile, we've got a tangle at center field. 90-94, the Earthquakers pulled down by Gemini. That's not gonna be good. Our referees will take a look at that. Meanwhile, with 52 seconds remaining, Blue Alliance is now down one of their partner teams. Earthquakers still help get a piece of cargo closer to their partners. Lunatex pick it up, they've got it in hand and place it gently in the bottom row. 2607 fighting Robo Vikings, they've got a cube, they wanna try and get that better position to help complete a link. They only need one more link to get the ranking point. For the Red Alliance, 45-75, Gemini racing past the field. They're in their own community with 69-21 and Technados. Technados making their way up with 10 seconds. Can we have all three Red Alliance robots engaged? Gemini rocking back and forth, seeing if they can make room for the Robo Lancers with three, two, one. An overcorrection at the last moment. That might be the window that the fighting Robo Vikings and Lunatacs need as they're engaged for blue. With the win, it goes to the Blue Alliance in qualification match 26 with a score of 122 to 10.
the charge station, making the difference to the end there. That helps move the blue lines up in the rankings. Team 316, the Lunatex, moves up.